You know that feeling when you just can't quite grasp a concept? I've been there. And I know a lot of you struggle with why we have superannuation and, and the rules around when we can and can't access it. It's like trying to read a book in a foreign language. And I've personally completed RG146 studies in superannuation, which in layman's terms means I've had the entire concept of retirement in Australia mapped out to me. So I've got a bit of an understanding what each aspect of super and age pension and savings and things like that is supposed to do. Instead of needing to go through a two-day course to work it all out, I'm going to share what I learned to provide a snapshot of what retirement really looks like for you and what a comfortable post-work life might be. The Retirement Income Plan is a concept crafted by the Australian Government's Productivity Commission. It's not a physical thing or a specific financial product, but a structure, a way to think about and organise the different components of your retirement income. Start by thinking of retirement as a three-legged stool. You've got your superannuation, your age pension, and your general savings. Each leg of this stool plays an important role in keeping your retirement steady and comfortable. The super, superannuation, is like your VIP pass to the good life in retirement. It's your money that your employer puts away for you for your golden years. Then there's the age pension, which is like the safety net provided by the Australian government. If you've reached a certain age and meet certain criteria, you're entitled to receive this regular payment. It's not designed to foot all your bills during retirement, but more on that later. And then lastly, there's your general savings, which is like your secret source for your comfortable retirement. These are your personal savings outside of your super and what you get for an age pension. The best part with this aspect of it though, is that you're in control here. This might seem like a lot to take in, because yes, I've been in your shoes, but I want to help you navigate these concepts like a pro. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it's knowing when you can access your own money. You can access your super when you reach what's called your preservation age and retire. Your preservation age depends on what year you were born, but it's generally somewhere at the moment between age 55 and 60. For most of us, myself included, it will be age 60. Think of your super like money in the bank, but you're not allowed to use it until you've reached your preservation age. But there is good news. You can still control where it sits, as in where it's invested, until you can get hold of it. It's like a slow cooking pot. You put a bit of money in, let it simmer over the years. You've got yourself a delicious retirement fund that can fill you up. A whole lot of factors can spice up this fund, like the amount you contribute, the fund's investment returns, and even fees and charges. So. Remember this, the superannuation aspect of your retirement income is your VIP pass to account for retirement. And before we move on, it's helpful to take a look at your super once in a while, like the time you check the recipe while you cook. It's not about it becoming a financial whiz, but more about thinking of what's cooking, giving it a stir once in a while. Now, let's talk about the age pension. First of all, it's not a magical check that the government gives you to take care of all your retirement expenses. It's more like a dependable old friend who gives you a hand when you need it. The reality of the pension and the way it's intended to be used is that the government provides the aged pension as a kind of income support for old Australians who need it. To be eligible, you've got to meet certain age and residency requirements. Currently, you can apply to receive an aged pension at age 67. The payment you get, it does depend on your income, your assets and your other circumstances. Now. Don't get me wrong, it's not that you shouldn't count on the age pension at all, it's just that it shouldn't be your only plan for retirement. It's like the side dish to the main course of your retirement funding. It complements the plate, but it isn't meant to be the star of the show. Then there's the third leg of our retirement stool, general savings. This is like your wild card, your secret stash, your breaking case of emergency fund, and this is where your personal financial habits come into play. Whether it's that cash you've been putting away in a savings account or investments in some stocks, bonds, property, and the great thing about general savings is that you're in the driver's seat. You control how much you save, where you invest, and, and when you can use it. It's important to remember though, even though we have our super and possibly an age pension to support us, general savings can be a lifesaver. They can help you navigate the unexpected expenses or let you splurge on the world cruise that you've been dreaming about. From personal experience, building up general savings or something separate to your super can be really satisfying. And seeing that number grow over the years can give you a sense of security and safety and a lot of options when you retire. The earlier you start saving, the better off you'll be. Now that we've gone over the three streams of retirement income, let's change gears a bit and talk about what is considered a comfortable retirement. But what does that mean exactly? Thankfully, the folks of the Association of Superannuation Funds of Australia, or ASFA, have got us covered. 
ASFA has this nifty retirement standard that helps define what a comfortable lifestyle looks like in retirement. So picture this, you're retired, you can go on a good range of leisure activities, travel, have a decent car, regular holidays, and even afford the little luxuries in life. And that's exactly what ASFA's definition of a comfortable retirement is. The latest figures from ASFA suggest a single person or an individual would need around $50,000 a year for a comfortable lifestyle, while a couple would need around $70,000 a year. Keep in mind those numbers aren't set in stone, they do get updated on a quarterly basis. They can fluctuate based on factors like your lifestyle, location, health and so on. Now, these numbers might seem a bit daunting, but remember they're all based on the idea of you not relying on the age pension at all. For many Australians, the retirement income will be a combination of super, age pension and personal savings. One of the most daunting questions and one that I do see come up a lot is, can I afford to retire? Here's the practical approach. Take a look at your current savings, your super balance and potential age pension. Now go ahead and compare that with ASFA's comfortable retirement standard. It might not be the perfect calculation, but it can give you a ballpark figure of where you stand. Also know that many super funds offer retirement calculators where you can forecast your balance based off how many years away you are to retirement. These are pretty handy tools because they can take into account your current super balance, your contributions, your intended retirement age, and how much you might have when you retire. Some even factor in the age pension so you can determine what you get and when. But remember that while these calculators are a helpful guide, they can't exactly predict the future. Hopefully all this is starting to make sense, but I just want to talk a bit about something that does get me fired up, aiming for a self-funded retirement. You see, the super and age pension combined are great, but if you can fund your retirement without relying heavily on the government, you are winning. And that is my ultimate goal. We should be aiming to build ourselves a financial safety net for ourselves, striving for the independence and freedom that comes with being self-funded in retirement. I don't think retirement should be about finding ways to squeeze more out of the government and feeling like they owe you anything. It's about empowering ourselves to live comfortably on our own terms. So if the circumstances of the age pension ever change, then you're not affected. And the beauty of this is that it's all achievable. It does require some planning, dedication and discipline, but it's definitely within reach. Remember, planning for retirement isn't about achieving perfection or getting all the answers right away. It's about making informed decisions that suit your personal circumstances and goals. There's so many tools and resources available to help you along the way from your super funds retirement calculator, professional financial advice, use them to your advantage. And lastly, it's never too early or too late to start planning for retirement. The steps you take today, no matter how small, can make a massive difference in the long run.